About 10,000 years ago, great changes began to take place in human life and mind. With these new changes, people discovered a new method to make a living. This new discovery manifested itself especially in the fertile crescent region in the Middle East. People learned to grow crops and domesticate animals. Learning these new changes caused people to enter a period that radically changed their social, political and economic lives. The period of these changes is called the Neolithic Revolution. If you are ready, we will take a journey back 10,000 years to find out how the Neolithic Revolution began. Two or three thousand years before the start of the Neolithic Revolution, some people were accustomed to living in places where they hunted wild plants and animals for food. The wild plants that these people gathered in a few weeks would last them a year, and they didn't have to be on the move all the time. This new way of life imposed a sedentary lifestyle on them. In time, new groups of people joined these people and the first village settlements of history emerged. In permanent village settlements, food began to be stored in stone or baked clay pots and sophisticated stone tools appeared. While everything was going well, a problem arose. Changes in the Earth's climate would transform this new way of life. The climate in the Fertile Crescent became drier and colder. This led to a decline in wild cereals and herds of animals. In order not to starve to death, these people would either go back to nomadic life as before or find a new way. The new way they found was the emergence of agriculture. At that time, people had specialized in plant life because they had been living on wild plants for hundreds of years. Some groups of people had learned to sow the seeds of wild plants and to stockpile food. People discovered that some particular plant seeds were more productive. So new domesticated plant species emerged. Regularly sown harvests helped to domesticate and feed wild animals such as sheep, goats and cattle. The first agricultural activities were mostly horticulture agriculture. In this form of agriculture, trees were cut down, the remains burnt and then hoes and scraping sticks were used to harvest the harvest. This type of agriculture caused the land to lose its fertility within a few years. The discovery of agriculture brought about radical changes in the way people worked and lived together. People became more attached to permanent village settlements. People had to cooperate to carry out agricultural activities. Various myths, ceremonies, and rituals emerged in accordance with agricultural life. This new social order is called the Neolithic Revolution. Neolithic means New Stone Age. In this age, more advanced tools began to be used. Accordingly, people's ways of working and living were completely reorganized. People of the Neolithic Age were cultivating certain pieces of land. At that time, there was no idea of private property like today. Neolithic society was included in larger social groups. These larger groups provided certain rights to individuals and households. They imposed obligations on those to whom they were directly related through marriage. An individual or group living in Neolithic society had to share their food with other people. The values of Neolithic society were still similar to those of hunter-gatherer societies. In Neolithic society, those with more labor but fewer people to feed helped those with less labor but more people to feed. In the hunter-gatherer lifestyle, it was difficult to migrate from one place to another with children. Children limited the mobility of a group. Therefore, population and birth rate were low in hunter-gatherer societies. However, with the Neolithic Revolution, a reverse process took place in a social order that switched to settled life based on agriculture. In settled life based on agriculture, the greater the number of children, the greater the clearing and expansion of agricultural land. Larger family groups emerged in the agricultural society and this led to an increase in the world population. With the Neolithic Revolution, the world population had reached 10 million. 
larger groups in agricultural society required more complex and organized interaction. The stockpiling of food and goods in such societies invited attacks by armed looters. Thus, wars became common in many hoe farming communities. In hunter-gatherer societies, however, warfare was unknown. The widespread use of warfare in hoe farming societies led to the emergence of mechanisms to ensure social control. Thus, a council of elders was established. In societies that moved to the new social understanding brought about by the Neolithic Revolution, loose communities transitioned to village life, which structured stricter norms in social matters and complex religious rituals. An agricultural society came into contact with hunter-gatherer groups and changed their lives. The agrarian society and the hunter-gatherer communities came into contact with each other by exchanging various foodstuffs. Thus, many hunter-gatherer communities joined agricultural societies. However, some hunter-gatherer groups continued to engage in hunting and gathering. The spread of grain production and animal husbandry brought about the first social stratification. Some individuals or groups gained greater prestige than other people, leading to the emergence of what is called tribal chieftaincy. The New Stone Age popularized agricultural activities, village lifestyle and wars. These great changes caused by the Neolithic Revolution have a great place in the history of man. The settled life that started with the village lifestyle would grow with the urban life revolution, and would lead to the emergence of social economic systems that would affect today.